God, something caught on fire down there, man. I don't know what it was, but the red truck caught on fire. He didn't crash. It don't look like he crashed, but yeah, we just saw like a big fireball. second pass and they did that here at TX2K like many race teams that come here it was a family affair and so in about five or ten minutes we're gonna do a tribute and the reason that we're gonna do a tribute in race but it's gonna take about three or four minutes for me to do that. So my only ask of the crowd is this. Please cheer loudly for Tony and his family. Please respect the words that I'm gonna say for about a minute. And please know that Tony Jr. is up in the sky with us tonight. So in about a minute, we're gonna do that tribute. But I ask of all of you to give us the respect, the courtesy, and the love for Tony and his family to let me get through the next five minutes. So I'm going to wait for Jason to give me the cue when I can start doing that. But I don't want to lose sight of the personal and family-oriented feel of the event. So I ask you guys in the crowd, as you guys think about the next five or 10 minutes and what TX2K means to you, I want you to think about the fact that it means a lot more than just a car event to a lot of people. You know, my kids, some of them were in diapers when we started this event, and many of the racers that come here today, their kids were in diapers when we started the event. And so I, all I ask of you when we move to Dallas next year and change venues is to please treat the event with that level of respect, 
courtesy, love, and family that it started with 24 years ago. Thank you for that. So as soon as Jason gives me the green light, I'll start with my uh, tribute to Tony. Tony Phillips. Son of Big Tony Phillips. The driver and owner of the six-pack white Supra. Little Tony's life on Earth tragically was cut short in January leaving behind a beautiful and amazing wife, Savannah, and two incredible children, family, friends, and a father who he raced with around the country making memories together. Little Tony and Big Tony were the dynamic duo who set multiple records in their six-pack Supra. Little Tony was the man behind the keyboard on his father's car. In 2018, Big Tony Phillips and Cody Phillips, who's in the left lane, came together as one race team. These two racers may have the same last name, but they live on separate sides of the country. They're not related to one another, but they're definitely family a true bond that most racers understand. They've continued to race together all over the country with TX2K being one of their favorite events. In 2020, Six Pack was the first IRS Supra to break into the sixes in the quarter mile. And it was right here at TX2K. They continued on from there winning the coveted World Cup Finals Championship last November in Maryland. A huge accomplishment in the racing platform. After losing Little Tony, both Big Tony and Cody were certain they were not going to be able to continue without him. Today they're here at TX2K doing what brought them together, knowing that even in Little Tony's absence, he's still here with us. We gather arm in arm as a broken racing family to show him what he meant to all of us. And we know he's listening to us and watching all of us right now. We come to this race united, but broken. We come to this race determined, but humbled. These next passes from Big Tony in the right lane and Cody in the left lane are for you, little Tony. We love you dearly. We're going to miss you forever, but we will never forget you, little Tony. So my ask of everyone here right now, there were 17,000 of you here earlier, is to give Tony and his family a sign of respect and love. They need to feel welcome here as part of our family. So let's stop and give a moment of silence for Tony and his family, please. We love you guys. You're always welcome here. You're our family. Gentlemen, please start your engines. Give them a round of applause.
everybody's booing because there's people at the starting line I mean, over there and they don't want to move. So it's making it unsafe because the tractor's got to keep coming out and whatnot and they don't want to move. So everybody's booing the people that don't want to move.
I'm gonna be, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs>